Reggett flying wheels. So the LS engine is installed. Uh, when we turned it on, it would fire up for a couple seconds and then cut out uh, all ignition, spark, fuel, everything, uh, every single time. Didn't know why, and uh, it had never been brought to my attention previously. What we found out is that the VATS system, the vehicle anti-theft system in Chevy's, is activated. What you'll see is that little um, microchip on the key, and that is an immobilizer for the vehicle, and obviously we don't have that key for this vehicle. So one of the, one of the uh, options is to send the ECU out to have a tune. Uh, wiring specialties will do it for us, which we'll probably end up having done, or we will uh, have a tuning shop do it and remove the EGR valve and the air pump and all the other stuff. But for now, what we're going to do, if you have a friend with a 2000, 2001, 2002 or so, Chevy pickup with an LS style engine, we can bypass the VATS. And the way we're going to do this is by first disconnecting the battery and then removing their ECM. And once their ECM is removed, which is right here, we're going to replace it with the LS1 ECM. Uh, it's two seven millimeter bolts. It just, the plugs pop right off, new one pops on, and we plug it in, tighten it up, connect the battery. Once this is done, what we're going to want to do is turn the key on for 10 minutes and you'll see the security light come on. Uh, once the security light comes on, we let it run for 10 minutes, right? The, the vehicle won't start. Uh, after the 10 minute mark, shut it off, do it two more times, uh, 10 minutes each. On the fourth time, the vehicle should start up and run. Uh, once it's running underneath the dash, you will see the uh, body control modules and you're going to unplug that once the vehicle is running and it will teach our PCM that the uh, VAT system is no longer enabled and it will almost reprogram your ECM. Uh, if this works, we should be able to plug this ECM back into our LS1 uh, harness and it should fire right, right back up. So we will continue this video in a few minutes and see how it's done. So what I'm doing today is removing the VATS, the GM Vehicle Anti-Theft System, from my Pontiac Firebird prior to removing the engine and PCM uh, and prior to doing the swap for the 240SX. This will remove the VATS system, which if you look right here, is this computer chip key. Uh, there are a few ways of doing it. But this one should be the easiest. Uh, you don't need the HP tuner. You don't need a tune for it. What you'll do is just start it up. Uh, we'll remove the body control module from below, leave it running, and that will send a signal into the PCM that uh, will bypass the VATS system. And from there, we should be able to use our PCM in the 240SX swap with no issues, at least able to drive it enough to a tuning shop to get it on the dyno. And so prior to doing anything else, um, before removing the LS1 T56 out of, what I want to do is remove the VATS system, the vehicle anti-theft system. You'll notice that the key has a little microchip on it. That is your vehicle anti-theft system. It's programmed into the computer. So what happens when you do the entire swap, if you remove, if you do not remove the VATS and you plug everything in, you get your wiring specialties harness up and going, your car will turn on and you'll notice it'll shut off just a few seconds after. Uh, that is because of the vehicle anti-theft system and you're not using your Pontiac Firebird Corvette Camaro key. What you want to do is disable the body control module. You'll see it right here. It is located up under the dash on the passenger side near the glove box. What we're going to do is remove each of these three plugs and let the vehicle run. Uh, we'll let it run for a few minutes. If the vehicle will shut it off, if the vehicle starts back up, you know you've disabled the VATS system to the PCM, and you can use that in your swap um, when you're ready. Go ahead. <laughs> 